Hi everybody, welcome back to Add a Pin. Um, today I am doing DIY marble coffee mugs um, and I'm making them with nail polish. So what you'll need is one large bowl of room temperature water. Uh, make sure it's not hot because it will mess up the nail polish. It'll make it bleed and like thin out. It'll be really bad. Um, toothpicks. You'll need one of these brushes. You don't need all of these brushes, but just one for after you lay the nail polish to put the Mod Podge on top of it so the cup becomes dishwasher safe. You need some nail polishes. These ones are sinful nail polishes, which they're just a dollar, I think, or less than a dollar a piece. Um, here's the Mod Podge. It's like a clear coat to cover the coffee mugs with. A nail polish remover just in case you get nail polish you don't want somewhere and then that's what the q-tips are for too and then I just have two basic white coffee mugs I got both of these at Target I believe they were like $1.69 a piece and that's it so let's get started so what I've decided to do is kind of do a springy esque type of mug so I am going to take maybe this pink color. Just put whatever kind of drops you want in there. Um, I just put this like garbage bag, or not garbage bag, but it's like one of those grocery bags you get at the store in there just for easy cleanup later. Put this pink glitter in there. Let's see what it does. Uh oh. That's weird. Okay, maybe no more pink glitter. <laughs> Do some teal. Pink and teal marble. Yeah. You kind of want to pour it close to the water just so that it kind of doesn't fizzle out. I don't know. And if you drop it too far down, it just goes, sinks straight down to the bottom. Maybe some light blue. Let's put some light blue in there too. And you can get these sinful colors anywhere, like Target. Uh, I believe they have them at Walmart, like CVS, like anywhere basically you can get these. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. And this is where your toothpick comes in if you wanted to kind of like marble the design a little bit. You don't want that to happen. That's bad. That's why I have paper towel here to wipe off the gunk. Kind of go gently. Like the pink wants to move more than the blue. So let's move the pink. Maybe I'm going to put some more hot pink in the middle because it's like a lot of blue. So much hot pink. Put a little bit. More. Maybe it'll let me move it around now. Look at that. Pretty. Okay, I think I'm done. So now all you do is you take your mug. And however you want to dip it, you can dip it like upside down so that the pattern will end up at the top of the mug or you can dip it straight in like this. It'll end up at the bottom and like across. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to hold it angled, kind of pick an area that I like a lot. This is always like the scary part. Dip it in. kind of angled so I think that looks really cool dump out the extra water that I grabbed in there and that's it I'm gonna go let it dry get some of these water bubbles off of there 
And then I'll do the next one. So as you can see, I kind of dipped it too far into the water, so the nail polish got into the cup. So this is where you would take your nail polish remover and just clean it out. So I'm gonna clean it and then I'll show you what it looks like after. So I cleaned out my mug. I just used a nail polish remover and a cotton ball and it all came out. So now I'm just going to let it sit upside down so that it can finish drying and then I'll put the Mod Podge on it. So now I think I'm going to keep with the same theme. So I'm going to use the same water that's here already. I'm going to add this baby pink in there. Remember, pour the nail polish close to the water so that it doesn't dissolve everywhere. Okay, baby pink. Just put some more hot pink in there. Put some more blues in it too. Mint. Mint apple. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that color. I don't think I'm gonna mix this one with the toothpick too much because it's already pretty marbleized as is. Put some more teal in there. Should I try some silver sparkles? and see what happens over here. Expanding. No? Okay. Over here. Expanding. Yes, expanding. Can you see that? It's making like a hole. Okay, no glitter. Glitter is no point out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this mug, I'm going to do the exact same thing, just clean, plain mug. Now I'm going to dip it and try to get the same kind of angle I did with the other one. How did I do the one like this? I'm trying to not to get the water and the cup this time. Woo! That looks so sweet. Oh. Got a big gaping hole like right here. So I'm just gonna like dip it. I don't know, I've never done this before. Let's see what happens. Oh, that didn't work very well. <laughs> I guess I could clean it. I'm gonna clean it up. And then also, I don't know if you can see, but there's like kind of water bubbles that I like to get rid of. So kind of just take the Q-tip and like absorb the water so that you don't end up having bubbles when it dries. You also don't want it to be too clumpy too. These areas right here are kind of like the too many layers of nail polish. So I'm just kind of absorbing those with the Q-tip. Kind of mash it around. I mean, it's supposed to be marbleized, it's not perfect. You just don't want it to be clumpy because then when it dries, it's gonna take a really long time to dry. You can kind of like go around. So you're making like additional marble designs. It. Just make sure to be careful with these Q-tips that you're not leaving like fuzz in the nail polish because then that'll be stuck there forever basically. See, comes right off. So theoretically, if you really hated the, the design that came out when you dipped it the first time, you could just use nail polish remover, take it all off and do it again. 
You don't have to be stuck with this design if you don't like it. And I'm gonna let this one dry just like the other one and then I will come back and put a layer of Mod Podge on it. So all I did was pour the Mod Podge in here. It's probably been about an hour. You just wanna take one of these spongy brushes, dip it in your Mod Podge, and then just start covering your nail polish with it. Um, I've made one of these mugs without using the Mod Podge before. The only thing is that um, it's not gonna be dishwasher safe. So that's all the Mod Podge is doing here. It's helping seal in the colors and make sure that if you were to give this to somebody and they decided to put it in their dishwasher, it won't melt everywhere. So that would be a mess. All you do is take it and do thin layers. It's white, but once you paint it on your mug, it goes like pretty clear. It's kind of not 100% clear, but once it dries, it'll get that way. And then once you put this on, you need to let it dry. And then on the bottle, it says it has to cure for 28 days. And then it'll be safe to put in the dishwasher. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. This is the first mug that we dipped. Just teal and the blue and the pink. Don't forget the handle. Get under everywhere. It's kind of helpful that it's not 100% clear because then you wouldn't be able to see the areas you've already went over. As you can see, it's all covered up. I'm going to start doing the next one. Here's our mug that had the big empty spot in it. That's what the empty spot ended up looking like. Um, which, it looks nice, it's not too bad. It doesn't look like it's not supposed to be there, so I guess that's the goal. I'm just gonna do the same thing to this one. Just cover it with the Mod Podge. Doing these kind of projects is kind of nice because they're not something that has to be perfect. There's like no real perfect way of marbleizing a mug. And then you can just use like, if you have enough leftover nail polishes that you're about to throw away or something, you can make it into like a cool little project. And since Easter's coming, like these are pretty springy. Could give this to somebody for Easter or for their birthday or I don't know, take it to work, then you have like the coolest mug at work instead of everybody else with their boring mugs. And then when they ask you where you got it, be like, uh, it's custom because I made it myself. And no, I'm not making you one. <laughs> okay, so I think this one is ready to go too. It's got its thin layer of Mod Podge all around it. I'm gonna let it dry with the other one. And then when they dry, I will let you guys see what it looks like. So here's the finished product. Um, it just sat overnight. It's completely dry now. Um, but now it should be dishwasher safe. On the bottle, it says you could do two to three coats of the Mod Podge if you wanted to. And then you're supposed to let it sit for 28 days. So if you wanna be safe, just don't put it in the dishwasher until then, but it's all done. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the pink and the teal. Subscribe down below. And thank you for watching the video.